Well, welcome back to Channel Ron. Today I'm going to be replacing the brake pads on the Mrs. Snowmobile. This is an Audi Cat 1998 uh, Audi Cat 340. And uh, I just did this on mine a couple months ago, and I'm pretty sure it's the same idea. I ordered them, they came in today, so we're going to go ahead and put those in. Remember, I'm not a professional at this, so the way I'm doing it may be a little bit differently uh, than how other people do it. So let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take this bolt here out and we're just going to loosen this one up. And last time I did this, I was able to just flip this up. Uh, and here's the components that fell out of it. So I probably could just put the old uh, pad back in, but you definitely want this piece of metal. This is what goes up against this nut to adjust it. And I'll show you how that goes in. So let's go ahead and uh, loosen this one up, take it out, loosen this one up, leave it in there so we can just kind of flop this forward. You're going to need a 14 millimeter on each side, and for the adjustment, you're going to need a 12 millimeter. Just loosen it up a little bit. Just enough so you can flip that up. And here's the other pad. I didn't exactly sure why this all fell apart, but so there's the other pad, and I got two brand new pads. So let's go ahead and loosen this adjustment up here. It's pretty much already there anyway. So I'm going to back that off quite a way so I can get everything in there. And that metal piece right there, that goes right inside there. Let's see if I can get a better shot here for you. So this metal piece has to go on this side where the bolt pushes against. Because if you try to push the bolt against this pad, you're just going to crack it. All right, so again, you're just going to slide that in there, and then you're going to put that pad right on top of it. Like that. And then you're going to take the other one, and you're going to put it on this side over here, just like that. And now you can just kind of lower that down onto the rotor. Now before you go ahead and start adjusting this, go ahead and put your bolts back in. Or your bolt and tighten up the other one. Okay, once you get that taken care of, take your 12 millimeter wrench and the uh, idea is you want to make sure that that turns um, relatively easy. You want that to be kind of free, that disc. So just kind of turn that. I'm just, I've got a whole hold of the other side here. I'm kind of turning that. And I'm just going to kind of turn that until it just barely touches. And then once I do that, right about there, I feel pretty good about that. Go ahead and grab the handle. And there we go. Feels pretty good. Now you may find once you get going and you get a few miles on this, you may have to come back and adjust it. Well, down below here, there's a little lock nut that you have to spin in, all right? And again, I know there's probably an Articat person out there looking at this and saying he's crazy, but I just kind of spin that in a little bit, and I just kind of give that just a little tunk, and then it kind of keeps it right there. Just check the brakes, right there. All right, just double check everything. Now close it all up, get rid of my old pads here. And anything else and uh, let's take it for clean up a little bit and take it for a quick test drive well there we go uh, just to, uh, took it around a little bit and it's been running great so what I may do is wait to get a few more miles on it then I may go back and adjust it but it's right there where it needs to be so not a whole lot to this again other people may be doing this a little bit differently this is how I did it I think the brakes cost me about 18 bucks online and I'll put that in the description below so thanks an awful lot for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one